Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you my Crystal Star Nursery unboxing video. I'm so excited to finally have received these. Um, I believe, I believe we ordered these in March. Was it April? beginning of April. It might have been like the first week of April or something, but um, it's been a while to get them here, but I knew that when I ordered them and I honestly wasn't really like anxious about them coming. Um, I figured the more time that they spend in a literal greenhouse like nursery, the better, and they'd be getting the absolute best lighting, best care, and honestly, it was really nice to have something to look forward to, so I'm not mad at all. I'm very happy. I'm very excited that they're here today. Full disclosure, I did receive this order yesterday, and I did already unbox the plants. Um, I had to work yesterday, and by the time I was done, there just wasn't really any good lighting left to take this video, so I figured I'd wait until today, but I did need to unbox them because, you know, like us. They too need the light to live, to thrive. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I did get every plant that I wanted to order. I got all of the plants that I wanted. Um, don't come at me because I know that I got a bunch of Hoyas that other people wanted and that they didn't grab. But I'm also going to be sharing with you my top tips for success when ordering from Crystal Star Nursery. We also have this lovely beverage here today. Um, this is like my new favorite thing to do is just a shot of your favorite liquor I put in Fire Jack and kombucha and it's very good. All right so um, if you aren't sure what or who Crystal Star Nursery is Crystal Star Nursery is a small family-owned and family-run business, and they started out specializing in um, orchids, and they have, like, the most insane, amazing orchids that you could ever, ever see. Um, and then they eventually started moving into um, exotic and kind of, like, hard-to-come-by plants, to kind of, like, novelty plants, like the titty cactus variegated string of pearls and that kind of stuff plants that are highly sought after but are really uncommon and really really hard to find especially here in Canada the last summer I ordered and I ordered with a friend and so she was actually the one that put in the order and she was fast enough that we both got what we wanted and it was amazing and this time around I decided to order on my own because they had a really really good deal on shipping if you spent a certain amount then you got half off of shipping and if you are in Canada you know that shipping is hella expensive and we just don't have time for that we're trying to spend money on plants we're not trying to spend money on shipping but unfortunately those two things come hand in hand especially when you're shipping live plants so um yeah I did this order completely by myself and honestly that is my number one tip to success when you're ordering from a place like Crystal Star Nursery that is a really small family business that only has so much stock. You need to order yourself. You need to be on the site the moment that it goes live. This time around since it was their first um their first restock of the season that would be available for shipping, they restocked a ton they put on a ton of new items so many amazing plants and they put them on um they made a list out of all of the plants that were going to be restocked and they shared them on their instagram story the day before so me being the obsessive person that i am i went on i wrote down every plant that i was interested in i narrowed down the ones that i really really wanted and then I made sure that I had that list near me the next day. I was sitting, I had an alarm set for five minutes before um, the site went live. I told you I was obsessive, but this is how we secure the bag, okay? When the site went live, what I did was I went into the search bar and I searched every single item that I wanted. And then I immediately checked out. I didn't browse, I didn't look at any of the other plants that they had. I just got in, I got what I wanted, and I got out. And there's actually one plant that you'll see in this unboxing 
that I couldn't find on the site the first time that I went to search through. So I added all of the ones that I could find to my cart, checked out, secured those, and then I went back and kind of browsed through the Hoyas to see if I could find this other plant. And I actually ended up finding it. Um, so then I did a separate order for that, and then I checked that out. So I got everything that I wanted. Um, it was all over in less than five minutes, and it was the most stressful five minutes of my life. Um, but I was super, super excited and I'm super, super pleased with um, every interaction that I've had with Crystal Star Nursery. I've chatted with Crystal a bit and she's like the sweetest and it's just a small family company that I love to support. Thank you. Thank you for bringing Canadians the plants that they want. I think that's enough of that. But those are my top tips for really securing the bag when it comes to a Crystal Star Nursery order or really any any site that you're ordering from that does um, restock drops. So I'm pretty sure they said once they're done sending out all of the plants from this shipment, which I think next week is supposed to be their last shipment or their last batch of shipments that has to go out, then they're going to start planning the next restock. So um, a lot of people get really frustrated because they never have stock on their website, but they generally do big restock dumps and then they don't really restock a lot in between so if you don't want to miss a restock you want to make sure that you're following them on instagram um because they're really really good at communicating when they're planning on having a restock what they'll be restocking they will give you all of the information that um you need to have success with them so now that all that's out of the way let's get into the goods all right, so I'm going to go through how they packaged these and what the packaging was like because obviously I've already I've already unboxed these plants. But they give you um how can I do this without showing you all my personal information? I'll just show this part. Yeah. So, they send you a packing slip and they've actually labeled all of the plants on the paper that they were wrapped in and they label them on the packing slip as well so that you can see what's what when you're opening them. Um, the box was quite large um, because I did get quite a few plants. <laughs> Free self 2020! And all of the plants came wrapped up in paper in like these little triangles basically. Um, I can't show you exactly what it looked like, but basically they all came in a labeled package um, showing which plant it was, what your order number was, and um, yeah, they were just wrapped up really nicely in paper. And then they had um, just one layer of paper over the top. So there was like a layer of paper at the bottom of the box, a heat warmer, which we did not pay for the heat warmers. They added them in to make sure that our plants would get to us in as perfect condition as they could. And like, it just snowed here the other day. So I'm very grateful that they put in the extra work. Um, so it was paper, a heat pack, and then the plants. And then there was a layer of paper on the top as well. So they were really secure. They were packed really, really well. They all arrived in really, really good condition. I'm super impressed. And I do want to add before I forget, I got my notification that this would be shipping out on Sunday and then they sent out a notification on Monday that it had shipped and I received these yesterday, Tuesday, at like 11 in the morning. So it was super, super fast and I was really, really happy with how quickly this shipped. Um, honestly, really happy with the entire experience. So that's kind of what the packaging situation was like. And um, I didn't have a problem with any of my plants. Um, and there was one plant, I think it was, yeah, it was one of the plants. They do this with um, like string of pearls and stuff as well, but they'll ship them with this kind of like fuzzy material just to help keep the delicate leaves in place and make sure they don't get disrupted too much in shipping. But without further ado, let's get into the goods. So the number one plant that I was really, really hyped I had to get was this Hoya Sunrise. And she is a beaut. They come in these little, like, plastic pots that are really flexible. So 
they can kind of get a little bit smushed during shipping without any damage being done to the plants and they just came in some sphagnum moss and they all come labeled with these cute little tags, which um, when you do repot these eventually, you can keep the little tags and put them in the pot. And I just think that that's so cute. But this is the sunrise. She's a lot bigger than I expected. And she's got some little baby leaves up at the top. I'm going to show some close ups after because obviously this isn't like the best lighting to be filming in. But that is a sunrise, which I'm super, super happy about. Okay, so the next plant, this is the one that was wrapped with the fuzz to protect the leaves. This is Hoya linearis. Look at this beauty, sweet baby. Yeah, so I'm super, super happy with that. I love that they come with all of these little trellises. And they're all clipped in really secure. Um, this is Hoya Crinkle 8. And I'm honestly like really surprised at the, sh at the size of the plants. I thought that they would be a lot smaller. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with the size of these. They're really great starter sizes. Um, this is another thing that they'll do. This is the only plant that I ordered that actually came in a nursery pot. So for these guys, what they'll do is they take a damp paper towel and then they put it on top of the soil to help keep the soil in and they tape it down. So that gives the plant a little bit of moisture and it also protects them when they're being shipped. So I love that. The next is this beautiful Hoya Rincii Borneo. I was not planning on getting this plant but when I saw it on their sneak peek, I just fell in love with the leaves and I had to. Like, it's the most gorgeous, splashy kind of pattern on the leaves. And I couldn't help myself. Clearly, I can never help myself. So, that's a beauty. Now this plant, this is the plant, this is the last plant. Um, this Hoya. I'm so blessed to have gotten this. This is one of the plants that I know a lot of people really, really wanted. This is the plant that didn't come up when we were using the search in the search bar and I had to go back and get it and thankfully I was able to add it onto my order. This is Hoya Polyneura, the fishtail Hoya. And she is gorgeous. Like. I think this is the plant that I love the most out of this entire shipment. Like, I 100% went into this to get the sunrise, but these leaves are just gorgeous. I wish you could see how green they are and how healthy they are. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about taking care of this plant because I've heard really mixed things about it being finicky and also being really easy. So. We'll see about that. But um, yeah, these leaves did get a little bit bent during shipping because they're newer. But this one's totally straightened out. So as they're hardening off, they're kind of straightening out on their own. So that's really, really great. And I'm really happy about that. So um, I did take these out yesterday to make sure that they were getting some light and they weren't stuck in the dark box. And the sphagnum moss was a little bit damp yesterday. But now it's starting to feel pretty dry on the top, so I'm going to give these guys a little bit of a drink later. Um, I did buy these really cute little pots for them to go in, and I think most of them will still fit in it. Especially since Hoyas generally like to be in more of a compact pot. I think that I'll be able to get away with them being in there for maybe like one season. But um, yeah, at least... The fishtail for sure. And probably the linears. But the other ones are a lot bigger than I expected that they were going to be. And I'm really, really impressed with their size. Um, I also am really impressed with Crystal Star Nursery's pricing. Because like if I were to find any of these plants on Etsy or really anywhere else, I know that I'd be paying a lot more for a much smaller plant. So overall, I'm just so so happy with the quality and the shipping everything everything even the customer service everything that crystal star nursery does i love i'm about it 
They are my favorite place to order online from. Care. Okay, so I unboxed these guys yesterday. The soil was a little bit damp, so for the drier, the drier plants, I'm going to be giving them a good drink of water. And then I'm kind of just going to leave them in their little pots for two weeks, maybe a little bit longer, just to make sure that they acclimate nicely, they're not being bothered too much, and they have a chance to get used to their new home. So I won't be repotting them anytime soon. I'll probably, honestly, knowing me and knowing how like much of a procrastinator I am, it'll probably be a month before they get into a new home. But um, I'll definitely share on my Instagram once they move into a more permanent pot. But you guys, I am so, so thrilled with the quality, the experience. I My heart is full having these plants in my life. Thank you guys so much for doing this unboxing with me, even though it kind of wasn't an unboxing, but it like kind of was. But I'm just really, really happy. Honestly, I'm so happy with the plants. I'm so happy with the entire experience. I'm looking forward to the next restock, and I hope that you guys find my tips for success with Crystal Star Nursery helpful, because I'm pretty sure I've always been able to get what I wanted um, whenever they've done a restock. So just make sure that you're there right away, you're on the ball, and if you can, I would encourage you to not do a group order because that makes a huge, huge difference. Just get in, get out, secure the bag. And um, if you guys got an order from Crystal Star Nursery too, feel free to um, send me a DM of what you got. Or if you've posted them on your Instagram, send me the link so that I can look at them because there are so many amazing plants. I honestly could have bought more, but that would have been pretty expensive. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Desert Plant Diaries, and you can also now find me on TikTok at Desert Plant Diaries because I did fall into the TikTok hole and I've honestly been having a great time. I only have three TikToks right now, but I do actually have a mini unboxing of these sweet babies that I took yesterday. So feel free to search me up on there. It's also at Desert Plant Diarist. And I think that I'm gonna do some little like shop with me's around whenever I go to like greenhouses and stuff. So if you wanna see like a really quick snapshot of where I'm at, what plant shopping I'm doing, that's definitely the place to find me. So thanks again, guys. And I hope that if you got an order, you're just as excited as I am. And I hope that if you didn't, that maybe next time around, you will be ordering from Crystal Star Nursery because they are. Have a great rest of your week, guys. See you later.